What if I told you that there's a star out there 700 times bigger than our own sun, and yet, we know so little about it? This is Betelgeuse, a celestial giant that resides some 640 light years away from us. It's one of the most massive stars known to us, a red supergiant, a literal titan in the cosmic expanse. Its size is truly mind-boggling. Imagine this, if you were to place Betelgeuse in the center of our solar system it would engulf all the planets up to Jupiter. Even our own sun a million times the size of Earth is dwarfed in comparison. Now picture the Earth, a tiny blue marble suspended in the vastness of space. Then visualize the sun colossal and fiery, a million Earths could fit inside it. Now imagine a sphere so large that it could hold a billion of our suns. That's Betelgeuse. Yes, a billion suns. It's hard to comprehend, isn't it? But the size of Betelgeuse isn't its only enigma. This celestial titan is shrouded in mystery. From its unpredictable brightness fluctuations to its irregular shape and the strange matter that it ejects, Betelgeuse continues to baffle scientists. It's like a celestial puzzle, a cosmic riddle waiting to be solved. And then there's the most tantalizing mystery of all. Betelgeuse is dying. It's a star on the brink of death, nearing its inevitable end. And when it dies it will explode in a supernova, an event so spectacular that it will outshine the entire Milky Way for a few weeks. So why does this matter? What makes Betelgeuse so special? It's because understanding Betelgeuse, its mysteries and eventual demise, can give us crucial insights into the life cycle of stars, the workings of the universe, and even our own existence. Join us as we delve into the depths of the cosmos and seek to unravel the enigma of Betelgeuse. To begin our journey we need to locate our star. So, where in the vast expanse of the cosmos is Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse, the celestial giant we're about to explore, is nestled within the constellation Orion, famously known as the Hunter. To find this constellation, you don't need a telescope or a fancy star map. All you need is a clear dark night and a bit of patience. Imagine a chilly evening, the sky is a blanket of infinite darkness, dotted with countless stars. Your eyes are drawn to a distinctive pattern, a line of three bright stars in a row, this is Orion's belt. Now if you extend an imaginary line from the belt towards the west, the first bright star you'll encounter is Betelgeuse a radiant gem burning with a reddish hue. A standout amongst the stars, Betelgeuse is the tenth brightest star in the night sky. It's a red supergiant, a class of stars known for their impressive size and luminosity. But what makes Betelgeuse truly remarkable is not just its brightness but its volatile nature. It's a star that's nearing the end of its life, a star on the brink of going supernova. So, there you have it, we've located our star, nestled within the hunter's shoulder a celestial giant that's both a beacon and a mystery in our night sky. Now that we've located our star, let's dive deeper into its mysteries. Betelgeuse, a star known for its volatility, has a habit of keeping astronomers on their toes. This celestial giant, a key player in the grand stage of our cosmos, is not just famed for its size and brilliance, but also for its unpredictable nature. Imagine a light bulb, one that flickers and dims, then suddenly blazes bright again. That's Betelgeuse for you a cosmic lighthouse with a light switch of its own. This star has been known to oscillate in brightness over a period of roughly 400 days, a trait that has left researchers both intrigued and bewildered. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where there are more mysteries than answers, the variable brightness of Betelgeuse is a puzzle that has been challenging to piece together. Some attribute this behavior to the star's immense size and a turbulent, ever-changing surface. Others propose that clouds of dust, expelled from the star, might periodically block its light, causing the observed fluctuations. The recent dimming event of Betelgeuse is a case in point. In late 2019, this usually bright star began to fade, its light diminishing to a mere third of its typical brightness. The event was so dramatic that it was visible even to the naked eye, making headlines around the globe. Astronomers were left scratching their heads, wondering if this was a sign of the star nearing its end. Yet, just as suddenly as it had begun to fade, Betelgeuse brightened again, leaving us with more questions than answers. Was it a colossal cloud of dust obscuring the starlight? Or was it an indication of the star's tumultuous internal processes? The truth remains shrouded in cosmic mystery. But the volatility of Betelgeuse is just the tip of the iceberg, there's much more to this star than meets the eye. As we delve deeper into the life and times of this volatile giant, we will uncover the secrets that it holds, Secrets that may well change our understanding of the universe. Join us as we explore the enigma of Betelgeuse, a celestial journey that promises to be as thrilling as it is enlightening. 
Every star has its life cycle and Betelgeuse is no exception but what happens when a star of such magnitude reaches the end of its days? Just like any living entity, stars too have a birth, a life, and an inevitable death. But unlike any living being we know, a star's end is a grand cosmic spectacle, a supernova. Let's embark on this celestial journey to understand the life cycle of a star. Stars are born in clouds of gas and dust, known as nebulae. These gaseous bodies collapse under their own gravity forming a protostar. Over millions of years the protostar evolves into a main sequence star, such as our sun, where it remains stable for billions of years fusing hydrogen into helium in its core. As stars exhaust their hydrogen fuel, they start fusing helium into heavier elements, causing them to expand and cool down, transforming into red giants. This is the phase where Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, currently resides. It's one of the largest and brightest stars in our night sky, a true celestial giant, nearing its end. So, what's next for Betelgeuse? The star's life will culminate in a supernova, a powerful and luminous stellar explosion. This is the final act of a star's life, a grand farewell. During a supernova, the star ejects most of its mass in a spectacular display of light and energy, outshining an entire galaxy for a short period of time. The remnants either form a dense neutron star or, in case of the most massive stars, a black hole. This cosmic event is not merely about destruction though. Supernovae play a critical role in spreading elements throughout the universe contributing to the formation of new stars and even planets. The death of Betelgeuse will be a spectacle unlike anything we've ever seen, but when will this celestial event occur? The answer my friends is written in the stars, and while we may not know the exact timeline we do know it will be a sight to behold, a testament to the magnificent life cycle of a star. Imagine a celestial event so powerful it could briefly outshine an entire galaxy, that's the fate awaiting Betelgeuse. Now let's dive deeper into understanding what a supernova really is. Picture this, a star, much like our very own sun, but nearing the end of its life. It's become a colossal, glowing, volatile sphere, burning so brightly that it can be seen from millions of light years away. The star has exhausted its nuclear fuel, and the pressure of gravity starts to take over. It collapses in on itself and then, in an instant, it explodes. This explosion, my friends, is what we call a supernova. A supernova is not just an explosion, it's the grand finale of a star's life cycle, an event of epic proportions that releases an unimaginable amount of energy into the universe. So what happens when Betelgeuse, this red supergiant in the Orion constellation, goes supernova? Well, the effects on Earth would be quite dramatic yet not catastrophic. Don't worry, we're not talking about an extinction-level event here, we're way too far from Betelgeuse for that. We're talking about a light show like no other. When Betelgeuse explodes it will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky, visible even during the day. It will outshine every star, every planet, even the moon for weeks or possibly months. But there's a catch. Despite all our advanced technology and understanding of the cosmos, we can't predict exactly when this will happen. Betelgeuse could go supernova tomorrow or it could hold out for another hundred thousand years. That's the tantalizing mystery of this celestial giant. It's like a ticking time bomb, with the timer set to a scale we can barely comprehend. So, will we get to witness this spectacular cosmic event in our lifetime? Well, the odds are not in our favor. But the universe is full of surprises and who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. But one thing is certain. The day Betelgeuse goes supernova will be a day like no other. It will be a day when we, the tiny inhabitants of a small planet orbiting an average star, get to witness the death of a giant. A day when we get to see firsthand, the awe-inspiring power and beauty of the universe. While the supernova of Betelgeuse will be a sight to behold, we're still left with the question, when? Predicting the death of a star is no easy task, but one thing is certain, Betelgeuse's days are numbered. In astronomy, just like in life, timing is everything. But when it comes to predicting supernovae, we're often left in the dark, quite literally. You see, the timing of a supernova is one of the most unpredictable aspects of astrophysics. It's an intricate dance of cosmic forces with the star's mass, composition and age all playing their part. And while we've learned much about these celestial giants, the precise moment when a star like Betelgeuse will explode remains largely a mystery. Our best estimations for Betelgeuse, this volatile giant, place its demise anywhere from tomorrow to a million years from now. Quite a wide range, isn't it? That's due to the vast array of variables at play. Even slight alterations in a star's core temperature or outer layers can drastically alter its lifespan. And while we can observe these changes, 
predicting their exact impact is a challenge. Yet despite these complexities, scientists worldwide are tirelessly working to narrow down this time frame. They're using advanced telescopes and cutting-edge technology to monitor Betelgeuse's every fluctuation. Every dip in brightness, every shift in color, brings us one step closer to understanding this celestial enigma. It's like piecing together a cosmic puzzle, where each piece brings us closer to unveiling the grand picture. But amidst this uncertainty, there's an undeniable thrill. It's the thrill of the unknown, the anticipation of witnessing a cosmic spectacle that hasn't been seen in our galaxy for over four centuries. It's the promise of a supernova that could outshine the moon and be visible in the daytime sky, a stellar fireworks show courtesy of Betelgeuse. And so, we wait, we watch, we wonder. As the countdown continues, we're reminded of the unpredictable beauty of the cosmos. Whether it's tomorrow or a million years from now, one thing is certain, the cosmos is full of surprises. Even after its death, Betelgeuse will leave a lasting mark on the cosmos. Our journey has brought us to the doorstep of an inevitable cosmic event, the death of a star. But what happens when a celestial giant like Betelgeuse breathes its last? Let's delve into the intriguing aftermath of this cosmic spectacle. As Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, it will go supernova, unleashing an energetic eruption of light and matter into the cosmos. It will be a spectacle to behold, outshining every star in our night sky. But what interests us most is what will be left behind, the remnants of a once vibrant star. There are two potential outcomes to this celestial drama. The first possibility is that Betelgeuse may collapse under its own gravitational pull to form a neutron star. These are the densest known objects in the universe with a teaspoonful of neutron star material weighing as much as a mountain. Imagine the sheer density and weight of such an object, a testament to the extreme conditions in the heart of a dying star. The second possibility is even more intriguing. If the core of Betelgeuse is massive enough, it could collapse into a singularity, creating a black hole. These cosmic oddities are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong, nothing can escape, not even light. It would be a fitting end for a star as grand as Betelgeuse to leave behind an object as enigmatic as a black hole. Regardless of the outcome, the remnants of Betelgeuse will continue to intrigue and inspire us. They will remind us of the star's fiery past, its explosive death, and its enduring legacy. They will be a source of knowledge and wonder, a window into the extreme physics of the cosmos. The death of Betelgeuse will not be an end, but a transformation, a testament to the ever-evolving cosmos. Our journey through the mysteries of Betelgeuse concludes here, but the fascination with this celestial giant is far from over. Throughout this voyage we've delved deep into the heart of Betelgeuse, a star that's more than just a speck of light in the night sky. We've peeled back the layers of this celestial enigma, peering into its volatile heart and standing witness to its awe-inspiring might. This red supergiant located in the constellation of Orion is not just another star, it's a volatile giant, a ticking supernova, a star nearing its end. We've seen how Betelgeuse, despite its impending doom, continues to mesmerize us. Its erratic brightness, its mammoth size, and its unpredictable countdown to supernova all contribute to its captivating allure. But what makes Betelgeuse truly remarkable is its legacy. It's a testament to the life cycle of stars, a vivid demonstration of stellar evolution right before our eyes. As we've journeyed through the cosmos, we've learned that the universe is filled with wonders beyond comprehension. Betelgeuse is just one of the countless celestial bodies that dot the night sky, each with their own unique story to tell. So what's next? Well, the cosmos is a vast, unending expanse begging to be explored. There are countless other stars, galaxies, and phenomena out there waiting to be discovered. The story of Betelgeuse is just the beginning. It's a stepping stone, a spark that ignites the curiosity within us, encouraging us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Remember, the cosmos doesn't end with Betelgeuse. Instead, it serves as a reminder of the wonders that lie beyond our earthly confines. It encourages us to question, to explore, to seek out the unknown. So let's continue this journey together. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. As we part ways with Betelgeuse, remember, the cosmos is vast, mysterious, and waiting to be explored. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars.